What's going on? Today I got something special going down. Basically, for the first time ever, I'm going to be making Wagyu beef ribs. Now everybody that knows me knows I love beef ribs. I actually won these beef ribs on a contest from Derek Allen's Barbecue right down there in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, highly encourage you to check them out if you're down in that area. They've actually been on Man Fire Food as well. Um, but like I said, you can see the marbling on these Wagyu beef ribs. Uh, I am definitely excited about this cook. Definitely curious to see how it turns out. So let's get into it. Let's see how this goes. I'm excited about it. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so first things first, I am going to do a little trimming, but not a lot to these uh, beef ribs. And then of course, we're going to season them up. And I'm going to show you what else I'm going to use as a binder. Something different that I haven't done before, but I've seen other people do it. So figured now would be a great time to try it. So as you can see, we got our beef ribs here. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of trimming. I'm just gonna do a little bit, because you gotta imagine, these things are pretty, I mean, the Wagyu, obviously, they're highly marbled anyway, so I don't think they need exactly all this fat on there. Um, obviously, the fat will keep it a little protected, but honestly, I think these are gonna be good regardless. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of trimming, just a little bit, and, that way, it's not excess fat or anything like that. Uh, but I think these are gonna turn out really good, at least I hope so. Uh, like I said, most of the time when I do beef ribs, um, you know, they always turn out great. This will be the first time though that I've done uh, Wagyu, so there's that aspect of it. And I know from experience of cooking a Wagyu brisket, these things cook faster. And I'm assuming, it's, uh, from what I know, it's because the, uh, Fat renders down quicker um, than I obviously it would be in a choice or something like that. So, yeah, I'm just doing a little trimming, not a lot. I know it might look like a lot, but the Stealth Strong knife really can cut through almost like paper. Rolls it up like paper, just little slices here and there. Yeah. So, yeah, that should be good. Alright, so. I'm also going to use a little bit, I've never done this, so this will be a first two, because I'm going to use a Worcestershire sauce, you can say that right, right? I don't know how many people get to actually say that right. <laughs> I'm going to use that as my binder on these uh, beef ribs. Um, I'm not sure what Derek does as his binder and if he uses one. Probably something I should have checked out, huh? But uh, like I said, check them out. They definitely, if you're down in the Fort Worth area, they have a great place, uh, great people. And awesome food, of course. All right, so I'm just going with a basic salt and pepper. Well, I shouldn't say basic, because the pepper's not basic. And I'm gonna use actually this bourbon smoked uh, pepper made here here in Kentucky it's a little heavy that's okay I've used this once before on a brisket and it turned out really good so I figured they hopefully get the same results with these uh, beef short ribs now, there's one thing I didn't show you and I'm gonna still have to probably do is score the back of the mem frame where the, it's attached to the ribs uh, that's just one of the things that I like to do you don't have to do that it's completely up to the person so let's go ahead get our cooker set up we're gonna go ahead and let this set for a little while and then we'll get going
Oh yeah, so here we go. First rack of Wagyu beef ribs going down on the Blaze Kamado with the Prime 6 charcoal and a little water pan. Below that, it has some red cherry juice along with some Worcestershire sauce. Don't ask me, it just seems to work when I use that beyond just water. Oh yeah, look at those beef dino ribs. They look great. Man, that color on there looks spectacular. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how these turn out. So far, so good, and I'm definitely liking the way these look. All right, we're a good ways into this cook, and look at those beef ribs, man. I tell you what, they look fantastic. And as you can see, or as you will see, we're at a pretty good temp. We're at 174, it's a little over, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these wrapped in butcher paper. Look at that bone pool already down here. These things look fantastic. Cannot wait to finish these up. So let's go ahead, get these double wrapped in butcher paper, get them back out here on the cooker and go. So I got these uh, beef ribs pulled off. Uh, one of the things I'd just like to show people, once your probe tender, somewhere between 200 and 205 is when you want to pull them off. So I'm actually going to wrap these up in a towel and put these in my Cambro. Uh, this will allow this to rest for another hour or two and then we'll slice these bad boys up and we'll see how great they are. So as you've seen, those beef ribs came out amazing. They look fantastic. Not only that, they're very tender, they're very juicy, they're very flavorful. Um, I can understand why Derek has such a great uh, restaurant. The meat alone is ridiculous and it definitely turns out uh, magnificent. I mean, just alone, look, you can just see the moisture coming from the meat never ends it was cooked to perfection it was easy for me to do so i can imagine uh how an expert like derek and his family can do this over and over again and replicate the results so uh again if you haven't checked them out be sure to do so derek allen's barbecue down in fort worth texas they have some great barbecue and now i can see why because i can see the wagyu and these beef ribs they were amazing it was a fun trial for me Never had the opportunity to do so. Hopefully you'll get a chance to check them out. Like I said, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Thanks again, Derek. And thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And of course, make sure you hit that notifications if you want to stay tuned for a lot more things like this. Music